you really have to be careful of the people you choose to be around. Everyone doesn't care about God as you do. Everyone doesn't. Maybe there will be some that care more than you. Maybe care around the amount as you. Or maybe so much less than you. We are in a spiritual war. We are in a fight and what I am trying to do, I am trying to get closer and closer to Jesus Christ more and more. I learned that the closer you get to him, to Jesus Christ, the easier life becomes. Yes, you are still going to have challenges in life, but I believe the easier life gets. And it really isn't beneficial to have close friends who really don't want to seek God as much as you do. I believe you will run into so many problems. Well, as an acquaintance, perhaps you can have, you know, let's say you need something fixed and you can pay the person and, you know, for like things you need done. I guess you can associate with people who don't serve God because in this world, everyone is not going to serve God there are going to be some who don't want to serve God. So as an acquaintance, I guess you can have people to do things for you or whatever else, stuff like that. But as close friends to where they are over your house and all this stuff here, hanging out, I would not advise that. I would not. I believe so many people make a very bad mistake in thinking the same friends they had when they were doing so much wrong some people may believe they can keep those same friends when they are choosing to live for Jesus Christ and I believe that is a misconception I believe that is so wrong myself I don't believe I have any friends. I don't have any friends right now. But if I did have friends, I probably would not have any friends that I had back when I was doing so much wrong. Because how can it work if they don't want to live for Jesus Christ? How can it actually work? Please tell me, how can it work? In this life, listen, I believe this is in, in a sense, an individual race to where we are going to be judged based upon what we do, not what other people do once we die. I believe we are going to be judged individually after we die. So even if your mom, dad, cousin, sister, acquaintance, friend, or whomever don't live for Jesus Christ, don't be one of those people. Choose to live for Jesus Christ even if your whole family chooses to rebel against them but at the same time pray for those people we can't just go around and hang with anyone you can't let me give you an example i used to go over a particular person's house and when i was not going to say who the person is 
And when I would go there, there would be so much cussing and particular things happening there as well. Like so much cussing. So much cussing, man. So much. And if I remember correctly, I believe something came to my mind that I should not be there. And I stopped. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter, what is this? I don't want to lose my place. Is this six? Yes. Second Corinthians chapter six, starting at verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So what is that saying there? I believe this is saying, don't be around unbelievers. Of course, in this world, you are going to be around them. Like if you go to school, there are going to be unbelievers, I assume. But what I get out of this, don't be hanging around personally, like as friends and stuff like that, with unbelievers. I believe this pertains to marriage as well too. Like if you are saved and if you know someone is a Muslim, don't marry a Muslim woman or man. Why would you do that? Okay. If you have a Bible, please follow along. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? <laughs> what fellowship do they have? Can you mix the two? No. And what communion hath light with darkness? So this is pretty much saying the same thing. If you are choosing to be a follower of Jesus Christ, what are you doing with a bunch of witches like going where they are at having fun with them hanging around watching them do spells and stuff like that what are you doing verse 15 and what concord hath Christ with Belial or what part hath the believeth hmm or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? In essence, I believe it is saying the same thing as 14. If you are serving God, what do you have in common? Or like, what part do you have with a person who chooses to rebel against God or who serves an idol or who doesn't want the lifestyle that you want to live in Christ. 16. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So, I wish I could use a better word, but what in common do you have with people who serve idols? Like, I wish there was a better word I can use. Like, how is your life similar to someone who wants to serve the devil. Does that make any sense? You want to serve God, but this other person wants to serve the devil. They want to fornicate, cuss people out, 
look like uh, whores, men whores, women whores. They want to look very, I guess, street-like, but you want to look modest. You don't want to be a whore. You want to act right. Like, what in common do you really have? And I truly believe this. Let me say this. If you serve God and if you choose to be around someone who doesn't want to serve God, I believe you will either influence them to be like you or they may influence you to be like them. So I believe in many ways it is not wise to try to be friends with someone who has no interest in living for God. Am I saying that you can't tell them about God? I am not saying that. I believe you can, if they will allow. But what I am saying, don't be having that person over your house day in, day out, while they are smoking and drinking and doing this and doing that. I don't know if smoking is a sin, but if they are getting drunk and fornicating in your house and stuff like that, don't let that happen. Okay, I believe I am on verse 17, I assume. Okay. Wherefore, come out. Wherefore, Come out, come out. Yes, you, the person who is trying to serve God, come out. Yes, that Christian over there, come out from among them. Among who? People who don't want to serve God. People who want to serve the devil. People who want to be in witchcraft come out from among them this doesn't say to be their friend well kevin and you know i was their friend before i was saved so i have to hang out with them well kevin you know that is my brother and that is my sister yes they hate god but i have to be around them if you are an adult and much of your family don't want to serve God, why are you saying that you have to be around them? Why are you saying that? If they are influencing you to do what is wrong, why do you have to be around them? I can see if you are really young, then you may have to be around them, perhaps. But if you have your own money, if you can get your own place, why choose to be around people, family or not, who are influencing you to do what is wrong? Does that make any sense? Wherefore, come out, come out. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you were their friend before. No, cut that friendship a loose. If they don't want to serve God, I believe it is them, ultimately, who is giving up the relationship with you. So don't feel shame. Don't feel like the person to be blamed. Come out. Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. I don't want to get too deep. Verse 18. And will be a father unto you 
and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Don't we want to be sons and daughters of the Lord? Listen now. We are on this earth for a short time. If we all live until age 80, that is short compared to your life in eternity. Eternity. So I believe in these short years, I believe it is going to determine, it is going to, what word am I trying to use? I believe our life here will determine where we will go in the next life. Don't waste your life being carnal. I know we all aren't perfect, but let's strive for perfection. Let's try to do more and more right. You know, that person there and that person over here and that person over there, you know, you should not be messing with them. But you continue to mess with those people and wonder why your life goes in circles, like you are repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. Verse 17, wherefore come out, come out from among them, leave them alone. Well, Kevin, you know, I don't want to be alone. I want to have friends. So you, you want to take a risk and sting their friend even though they are influencing you to do what is wrong. So being alone for a while or forever uh, is so bad for you, I guess, to where you want to take a huge risk and being around those bad people to where if you die in your sin, you will go to hell. So you want to take that risk? makes no sense. Let me be alone then. If hanging out with, let me use a random name, if hanging out with uh, Jimmy will influence me to do wrong, even if Jimmy is my best friend, I have to leave him alone. Why would I man like i can't think of the right words why would i risk my life in heaven for a human honestly man jimmy could have given me so much food given me so much money given me so much opportunities even if he did almost everything for me in my life if he is the cause, if he is influencing me to do what is wrong, I have to cut Jimmy a loose. Jimmy may say that I am uh, uh, like a backstabber. He may say I'm a hypocrite. He may say that I am not loyal. He may say that... Um, what are some words a person may say if you stop being their friend? Uh, they, he may guilt trip me. It doesn't matter, man. We are in a race. A race to the finish line. A race, ultimately, to death. Yes, we have to live in this world. But based upon how we live in this world determines where we are going in the next 
life. If I am saying that correctly, which I believe I am. No woman, no man is worth going to hell for. Seriously, if you have to be alone for a while, so be it. If you have to stay in your room and listen to audio Bible uh, books and read the Bible and pray to yourself, like keep yourself shut in, do it. Do what you have to to be on the right path to God. Not on the path to hell, but on the path to God. If your friends don't want to serve God, then they aren't your friends. They aren't. They aren't. If your family doesn't want to serve God, then um, you pretty much have to, uh, if you are able to, separate yourself, you know, and take yourself somewhere around people who want to serve God. If you go to your parents' house and all they are doing is smoking weed, getting drunk, you know, getting high off of drugs and stuff like that, why do you believe you should continue going there? Honestly, man, let me stop here. May God bless you.